Okay, degrees, minutes and seconds, we're going to be thinking about a clock. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the big hand, because the minutes and seconds are talking about, yes, a clock. So, let's talk about... Um, a degree, uh, 14 degrees, let's go 14.25 degrees. So we can't do much about those degrees. It is definitely 14 degrees, but this 0.25 means that I'm 0.25 around a clock. So how's a quarter gone? how many minutes are in that quarter. So 14.25 degrees is the same as 14 degrees and 15 minutes. So those two circles, that and that, represent the same angle of 14.25. This 0.25 being how far around the clock have I gone? Uh, let's not dwell on it too much. Let's just get to some examples. Convert 36.75 degrees to degrees, minutes and seconds. So I can't do much about the 36. It's 36 degrees, but I'm thinking if there was a clock, I want to get 0.75 of the way around my clock. So I want to get from there to there. How many minutes are in that? So that's... 45 minutes. How about 123.1? So again, can't do much about the 123 because it is degrees, degrees, but instead of degrees, and then I've got minutes and seconds. Okay, so it's 123 degrees, and it's point 0.1 of an hour. Well, what's Point one of 60 minutes, that would be 6 minutes. So 123.1 is 123 degrees, 6 minutes. The single dash is clearly a minute. 45.6, 456.7 degrees in degrees, minutes and seconds would be the 456 degrees, and I want to get 0 0.7 away around an hour of an hour. So it's 0 0.7 of 60. Uh, what's point 0.7 times 60? 42. 42 degrees. Uh, 42 minutes. 456 degrees. 42 minutes. Uh, we're getting to the seconds. Clearly, the, this, uh, the smaller this decimal goes, uh, we get into seconds. So again, we've got 345 degrees, and I want 0.67 of an hour, uh, which is 60 minutes. So 0.67 of 60 is... 40.2 minutes. So it's 40 minutes. And it's also 0.2 of a minute. Well, 0.2 of a minute, 0.2 times 60 is 12 seconds. So there's another 12 seconds. So the single dash is a minute, the double dash are seconds. Gotcha. Uh, let's go the other way. Uh, 36 degrees, 15 minutes. And we're converting to decimal degrees. So again, it's got to be 36 degrees. And I'm thinking to myself, if I've gone 15 minutes, uh, What's 15 out of an hour? Well, that's going to be a quarter, so it's going to be 
36.25 degrees because the 15 minutes is a quarter of the way around the circle. Uh, 123, one, two, three. And it's going to be 45 minutes out of 60 around. So that's three quarters of the way. Uh, that isn't degrees, minutes and seconds, that's just degrees. Same thing here, we're converting from degrees, minutes and seconds to decimal degrees. Okay, so it's going to be 456 degrees and it's going to be 59 out of 60 minutes. So that's going to be... Uh, 0.983333 recurring. Um, okay, the reason we went so quickly is because every calculator has an inbuilt function of how to convert between degrees, minutes, and seconds, and degrees. And you can just Google it in class. I'll show you on your calculator, but if you forget, just Google how do I convert between degrees, minutes, and seconds two degrees in my Casio, whatever you've got. Um, and that's all we'll do in uh, the exam as well, just use your calculator. Okay, have fun with that.